Hi everyone, my name is Philippa and I'm one of the resource officers for Rotherham NHS Foundation Trust and this morning we're just doing a video to update you on your community-based adult life support. So depending on where you're based will depend on what equipment you should have available to you at the bases. So if you're at RCHC or Kimberworth Place for example or a GP surgery, you should have an AD at those bases and you should have um, some airway equipment. But if you're out and about in people's homes then you won't have access to any of that. You should be carrying pocket masks with you. I know a lot of people don't, so you do need to ask your managers to supply one for you. You should be carrying a pocket mask because breaths are still gold standard for resuscitation. Okay. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to do a demo of the, what we would expect you to do if you find a collapsed patient. Okay. Mrs Jones? Mrs Jones? Is there anybody who can help me, please? Is there anybody who can call 999, please? Okay. So that's what we would expect you to do. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is run through but break it down and just explain why I did what I did. Okay, so first, what you want to do if you find a patient who you're worried about is check for a response. Make sure it's safe to approach. There may be dangers. It's more likely that there may be some dangers than if you've met a patient in hospital where it's usually quite safe. So safe to approach and then check for a response. Mrs Jones, so you've given a good shake and a good shout and there's absolutely no response. So ideally at this point you do need some help. There may be somebody else in the premises in which case shout for help. Then you're going to check the airway. So open the airway and have a look in there. If there's any debris in there, you can tip the head to the side and allow that to drain out. Once you've done that, you're going to open the airway with a head tilt chin lift. And then you're going to look, listen, and feel for signs of life for up to 10 seconds. You're going to pop your face to their face so you can feel for breaths. You can also see any chest rise. And if you feel confident too, you can check for a pulse. I'm going to do that for up to 10 seconds and if there are no signs of life at this point you need to summon an ambulance so if there's somebody else in the property get them to call 999 if you're alone then you're gonna to have to do that yourself at this point and then you're gonna do compressions on your patient so to find the correct hand placement find the ziffy sternum and the sternal notch find the center of that put the heel of your hand in the center of the sternum Second hand on top, interlocking fingers. Now you're going to lock your arms straight, put your shoulders above, and you're going to compress the chest to depth of six seconds. And you're going to do 30 compressions and you're going to do two a second. So I'll show you. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. When you've done thirty compressions, you're going to move on to airway management. As I said earlier, you should be carrying a pocket mask, so you're going to place it on the patient's face, and then you're going to hold it on with two hands, open the airway, and deliver two breaths. It may be that these breaths are not effective. If they're not, you still only get those two attempts and then you have to go back to your compressions by finding your landmarks again and doing your compressions again. Uh, if those compressions were not effective, then try again after your 30 compressions. If again they weren't effective, you can abandon breaths and just do CPR uh, until help arrives. Okay. 